drawing system paraline All drawings that use parallel lines are paraline drawings. The orthogonal system is the only one that is represented in two dimensions. All others are represented in three dimensions. Orthogonal There are two conventions in orthogonal drawing, first and third angle. The most common of these and the style generally chosen for this outcome is the third angle and so this is the one most commonly represented in this section. It is important to dimension your drawing so that you learn the conventions of this area. Issues such as how far the dimensions should be placed from the object, which dimensions go on the outside, how curves and circles are represented and in what direction the measurements are placed are all issues that can be resolved through this drawing. It is also recommended that you have a range of technical pens or felt tipped pens for the presentation of this task. The thickest 0.7 mm or 0.5 mm are used for the object, a smaller size for hidden lines and the smallest for the dimensions. Try to avoid circular objects for orthogonal drawings, as many will only allow you to represent the top and front views. Whilst this is the correct convention, you will not be gaining sufficient experience in the more common practice of drawing three aligned views of the one object. In this drawing, the student has represented a chair in three aligned views. Some hidden lines are represented as all the dimensions of the actual chair. It should be observed that the overall dimensions are placed on the outer edge, with the smaller dimensions being placed on the inside of them. It is recommended that at least 8 to 10 dimensions be shown so that you can indicate your understanding of this convention. Remember that no dimension should be mentioned twice. This is a drawing that shows three aligned views of a spaceship design. You will notice that no hidden lines are shown here due to the complexity of the outer shape. A cross-sectional view of a part of the object would be appropriate if the internal structure was to be represented. This is a professionally drawn orthogonal representation of a deck chair.
isometric isometric drawing 30 degree 30 degree This is one of the most used paralign styles as it defines an object with little distortion and it includes three faces of the object. You must work from a corner view for this style. The lines that project from this view are angled at 30 degree to the horizontal. When undertaking this and other conventional drawing styles, remember to apply other criteria simultaneously. This may be through exploring a rendering technique to enhance the form of your object. Making subtle design alterations to your object in each drawing or including some freehand sketches using the convention as a starting point. Isometric and Oblique Drawings Isometric Oblique In this example, the student has clearly labeled each drawing and has chosen a common rendering scheme that is linked to the color of the labels. These drawings are created using a drawing board onto cartridge paper and then cut and pasted onto the black ground. Oblique with this style, the front face of an object is emphasized. The drawing begins with the front view being placed at 90 degree and the receding parallel lines being drawn at an angle of 45 degree. There are two forms of oblique drawing. One that is suitable for measurement and the other that is more suited to display. Cavalier oblique is the style where all measurements are exact. This results in a high degree of visual distortion, even though the measurements are accurate. Cabinet oblique corrects the distortion by making the side measurement half of the actual dimension. Whilst this corrects the distortion, it alters the dimensions of the original plan. Planometric This drawing style is again one based upon a corner view. Unlike the 30 degree isometric style, this has its planes receding at 45 angles. This style is most commonly found when the top plane, often the roof of a house, or the interior space is the main focus of attention. Planometric drawing can also be represented using a 30 degree or 60 degree system. This system is more common when a larger view is required. This would be seen when a city or complex of buildings is being represented. Perspective Perspective drawing is a technique used to represent three-dimensional images on a two-dimensional picture plan. 